Hello and welcome everybody to uh, episode 145 of the Immaterial Gamers podcast. This time we have the contenders assemble over over there. Uh, and, and then we have me, which is Terry. We have a D over here. I'm pointing at you, D. Wave. Thank you. Then we have a Ryan down here. And we have, hi, I'm Stefan, a.k.a. Master Muni 113. And there's his face. So, uh, yeah, so we're recording this from two different places, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, as you can see, uh, Terry, D, and Steph are all together in a studio in Brazil. Yeah. However, um, I'm in Reykjavik because I got a super secret invite to MSI 2021. Woo! With Pain Gaming and Pay Wildcats. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always like. Don't pay, pay, pay no attention to the background of the referee just walking backwards right now. Uh we can't see him walking backwards. Oh wait, wait we sort of can. Wait, there's, there's, there you go. Nope. There we go. We can sort of see him. He's very small. Yeah, he's very, but... very small. I mean, it's it's great that I've been that although I was invited out there, and you know, and you know, yeah, how nice and, of them, right? No, yeah, I know. I mean, there's like absolutely. No problems, no technical issues at all. Um... <laughs> so uh, yeah, how how's it been going the, the like the past two weeks? Because nah. in terms of in terms of podcasting, I've not been there for a fortnight. Yeah, you you, you joined for a a random one a couple of weeks ago because I we needed a a friend. We wanted some friends, mm, and then you yes. took two off. So yes, yes, I did. It went pretty well. Our last one had some pretty heated debates, but it went pretty oh, well. Oh yeah, I, I was modding that. That was, <laughs> that was a thing. I almost felt like I needed to intervene. That would have been funny if you just joined right in the middle. <laughs> it's like with an alarm button, just like. That's enough. Can we fly can we, now? Can we fly now? Um, I didn't realize we could fly at all. Only in Minecraft can we fly. Oh, illusion broken. Martin's walking <gasps> down towards one of the teams. How dare Martin be in the background? Alright. He's not allowed to be in the background. He does whatever he wants. No, he's not allowed to be in the background. Alright, so do we want to give a quick uh, talk down of it? Why there's that... I don't know if you can see my... No, you can't see my mouse. But uh, why there's this one extra uh, screen there? Yeah, uh, I can. Um... Part of the reason why I wasn't here last week was, as Terry said, to make sure I had my two off while I was on for two weeks beforehand. But the other is uh, we got ourselves a video game challenge, mm. and it's in video form. I do not lie all the way. <laughs> no. No. Yes, oh. no. Um, but uh, yeah, so this has all been a secret project. I got Terry, Steph, D, Darius, and Duncan all individually to take part in this project, and the Contenders Assemble video is the result of that. Um, so it's uh, the only person it will knows be played a little bit later after what's been played, and everyone will find out the results together. Woohoo! Well, yeah, Darius and Duncan will find out when they bother to watch. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, they moment, couldn't yeah, join us. Yeah. yeah, it would have been funny if even, Ryan... Even Terry doesn't I th- know. I think like five seconds. I think Ryan wins because he, he played as well, and he knew all the answers. So he cheated. You know, mm. if only I had the intelligence to think of that. <laughs> Snake! Snake! Oh no! But, uh, yeah, no one... On, only each person knows their own results, and only I know the lot. So, and, and I almost uh, forgot my results. After what's being played, we'll figure that I almost I was actually, oh, at one point I couldn't remember my results, so I was going to say, hey, let's have a game. Does anybody remember their own results? Or what's your best guess on your own result? <laughs> but. Well, I mean, you, you can, I mean, we'll, we'll do it when we get like, to the video if you want. We'll like go through what's being played and then we'll, we'll get there. Sure. Well, uh, as per our normal uh, order of things, I'm the first one because contenders doesn't play anything, so. Well, 
<laughs> he has actually got something for everything. Yeah. But what's been played this week? I've got to take into account. Terry, tell them. Tell them what? <laughs> what am I telling them? What's, what's been, been played, played this week? Oh, you're, it's backwards. Backwards. It's inside out. You, you've showed the wrong uh, side of that yep, paper. Yep, yep, yep. Terry, tell them. What's been played this week? There we go. We just... Oh, hold on. Do it one more time, Steph. <laughs> Terry, de- Terry, tell them what's being played this week. Okay, I will do that. Well, we go back to the grid mode. <laughs> um, Alright, so this week, I think I've played mostly Minecraft. Um, you you think... Sure what did I play this week? Oh, this week disappeared really quick. Uh, you um played better Minecraft or whatever. Yeah, I played the better Minecraft mod with Stefan. And apparently while I was gone, Danny has joined. But I have not seen any sign of him because I have not gone over to the blacksmith village in my village. But apparently that's where Danny has now moved into. One of the other houses in my so, village. Um, I, it's where I've dumped all my shit. Yeah. Uh, other than that... I played, I played TFT. Yep. Yeah. Um, sorry, there was someone talking in my back ear. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I played. Did I play that, Stefan? Did I play that like cell game this week? Or was that last week? Yes. Yeah, you said this week. All right. So, yeah, I think I I played oh, a game yeah, called that's... Thrive. It's an open source game that is. Interesting, but incomplete. I would, I'd like to say, because um, it, it's it's almost like Spore, mm-hmm. where you design your your cell and you start to evolve. In the primordial soup. Yes, but oh, I'm a bad boy now. Maybe I'll do, no. uh, but yeah, it it just it doesn't go beyond the cell phase, so you never really get to grow a mouth or anything you can stab things and absorb them like you can use spikes and uh, uh like kill all their cells and absorb them but it never so, so in essence it's in essence it's spore as designed by people who didn't like the four phases after the cell phase yes pretty much <laughs> or it's hasn't got there yet i don't know which um mm. but it has an interesting it i didn't actually research into that yet um it it just it it has some interesting functions to it like you have to gain certain amino acids and stuff like that like certain uh different there's multiple different like iron and different sorts of resources that you can absorb and you can get them from eating parts of other cells and stuff like that as well and you need a certain two to be able to evolve, or not so much evolve, but add a trait. And then when you go into the adding of traits, you have so many points to add extra parts and stuff like that. So it's kind of an interesting process. Um, mm. But like I said, it's kind of similar to the beginning of Spore, which now I kind of want to go back and play Spore. But, um, oh, God. Yeah. But... Mm. God. Imagine if someone could get a spore mod that allowed people to play multiplayer. Yeah, well, that's one of the things that they're leaning for possibly with this is possibly mm-hmm. a multiplayer. Um, but right now it's open source, so people can actually play it and modify it themselves. Anybody can literally... Uh... I was fine. <laughs> Step is being just, mean. Just for the audio-only people, um, he, he wrote, he was really bad. I have a question. How is Stefan going to say what he's played this week if it's only <laughs> the audio-only version? Well, to be honest, it's going to take about 15-20 minutes before he gets round to him, so he's got plenty of time. Oh, so do we have to read? What he... <laughs> We're going to have to read it for him. No, no. Uh, Alright, well, I, other than that, we didn't play GTA. I'm hoping that we'll get to some GTA this week. Oh, Danny's going to read it for you. Oh, no. What, no, me? you are going to read it for Okay. My yahoo! My yahoo! But yeah, so 
we didn't get to GTA, but I kind of want to get into GTA this week if we have some time. So hopefully we'll do that because we got some heists to do. A couple of us have diamond okay. heists to do. So yep. we'll have to do that offline though, because uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately I learned no GTA last week, slideshow. Yeah, unless I can try to modify my settings or something, figure out what's going on with my computer, because it really does not like it. It's been acting up. But yeah, so I will pass the torch over to Danny, because he's the next one in line. What have you played um, this week? Played a whole bunch of Little Wood, and I played a bit of Death Stranded. Little Wood. Um, yeah, you're, uh, so it's, you, it's like, um, Stardew Valley. Okay. You, you start as a, you're in a village, and you, and you build your village up and out, and Basically, it's like gain a lifestyle simulator at that point, then, isn't it? Gain the resources, you're crafting and your fishing and resource crafting and all that. Yeah. Build Just the village that. up, um, get the village to be more popular. As the village gets more popular, more people join the village. Stefan also but... played this. Yep. And the stranding, I still can't quite get used to bottle baby. Oh, death bottle stranding. baby. <laughs> Oh, so, oh, Terry, are you not aware of Death Stranding? It's no. an experience. I am not in. Right. I am not in. Tell, tell, not... tell Terry what just the just just the core basis of the game is. Just, just um, distilled. What is it effectively? Well, the Death Stranding happened, and humanity got fractured and like on the brink of extinction. Um, you play. You play as Norman Reedus. Norman Sam Bridge Reedus. Porter. Play Sam Bridges Porter. Um, well, Sam, Sam Porter Bridges, which in the worlds of like the fact that in Death Stranding people don't seem to have names, it's literally who he is, what he does, and who he does it for. Yeah. So Sam's his he's name. Sam. He's a porter. He, yeah, so he takes cargo, so he's a porter, and Bridges is the company he works for. Oh. Yeah. Um, but there's the BTs, what are they like shadow creature things that you can't see? Uh yeah. That's what BBs are for. What is a bottle baby? It's a fetus that's a fetus that's been took out of the womb at twenty eight weeks and shoved in a bottle. From and comatose mothers. Yeah, from, from comatose. Yeah, comatose mothers, and it detects the BTs for you, so it'll tell you when the bad, the invisible monsters are around, and it gets stressed out, and you have to cue it and keep it from getting stressed out and going into stop mm. shock. And it in turn helps you see the invisible dead people. Weird. Yep. It, very, it, uh, it's very co. It's very um co. Kojima. It's yeah. It's a Kojima game. I but it's very Stephens. symbiotic in that way. You gotta keep the baby calm so the baby can do its job, while you're doing your job of delivering stuff all over the place. Yeah, it's right. So it's and Kojima has actually said this as well. D. I'm not sure if you're aware, but one of his inspirations for Death Stranding was the. Um, apocalyptic film starring oh, what's his face? Um, the film's called The Postman. Uh, Kevin Costner. Okay, I'm not sure. Where he's a delivery man in a post-apocalyptic world. Hmm. Weird. And the um, yeah, the main character's got doom. Uh, the part of well, the main character's got dooms. What is some kind of disease? From yeah, and. There's like a the level thing. of dooms that depends whether you can see these beached things or whether you need something to see them or like other other things. He's also what they call a repatriate, which means he can't die. Yeah, he'll just come back. Weird. I wish I could do that. Um, That'd be awesome. He just basically, you get like it... stuck into the swamp and whatnot and you'll just go, you'll die and then you'll just come, the baby will just do something and bring you back and you just come back. Yeah, there's you see kind of a cost through the for baby. repatriation. But yeah, you see things, you see the memories from the baby as well. That's the weird bit. So there's times where it'll just flash into the baby and you're like, what? Yeah, Mads, Mads Mikkelsen's in it. Um, oh, wow. And you see the bottle, you know, like the bottle baby's in the, like the first flashback is uh, him being put into the flask. Mm. That is... Is contained. So you wear those those flashbacks are random and repeatable. Okay. Uh, so if you die enough times you'll start seeing the same things over and over again. 
Well, uh, it's there, not when you die, but it's... actually, where um, if you if you connect, if you leave the base on your birthday, which you enter at the beginning of the game, one of the flashbacks will be Mad Mickelson wishing you, the player, a happy birthday. Mm. Weird. It's it, it's very. I love the scenery, though. The scenery is oh, it's, fantastic. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's hard. The, the world's horrible in compared to things like every time there's raiders and invisible things that are trying to kill you constantly. Yeah, but people. I've forgotten who. What What do they call them? The, like, the mules. The, basically, they were like mules, yeah. They're like people who've just gone crazy and all they wish to do is deliver to themselves. Like, so they they'll steal. look to steal everything from everyone around them and just hoard it. That's yeah, um, interesting. Uh, one of the but, guys, I've noticed that one of the guys that I've been doing deliveries for is delivering my companion cube. Yeah. And another one, a toy dinosaur. Oh, there's just, just on that, there are loads of cameos in that. Um, Jimmy yeah. Fallon is in it. Um, or is it Conan O'Brien? It's one, yeah, one of the big ones. Edgar Wright, the film director, is one of the, the people that you've yeah, delivered you to. A... You've got to try and connect the world back together. Well, America. Yeah, yeah. There's there's an overriding storyline about re- like, yeah, like say reconnecting, literally reconnecting America the, the, together. And you got to basically travel across the U- USA, starting from New York, going to DC, or mm. well, what's left of New York to DC. Yeah, that's they just call them trip. not cities. That's not too much. Of a yeah, trip. they're not cities. I've done that trip. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah, on on effectively on foot. Still not that bad. Wielding sure. around two hundred kilos of cargo, we can't do that now. Yeah, the um, pandemic's in, in, going on. You don't want to go to New York. Mm. But yeah, the but yeah, the strandings. It's beautiful, scenically and whatnot. It's just I you, I can't quite get used to the bottle, baby. Let's just let's just say this: if there's a way that you can easily describe Death Stranding in two words, peak. Kojima. I don't know what Kojima is. So. He's the so made Hide- Hideo leader. Kojima is the guy who made the Metal Gear Solid games. Okay. And then and then got unceremoniously booted out of Konami for all his service because he said he wanted to leave. Yeah. And, and then, then Konami the... decided they stopped wanting to be a games company and wanted to be a Pachinko's vendor instead. And then hmm. he decided yeah, I'm going to make this stranding. And yeah. it's yeah. It's like, um, oh, I'm going to get Norm. So, just to go on this, originally before he got fired from Kojima, there was supposed to be a Silent Hill game coming out, starring Norman Norman Reedus as the main character. That got shit-canned when he got effectively booted. Well, that makes sense. So, so he turned around and just said, hey, Norman, do you want to do a game? And he went, uh, yes, please. But yeah, um, it's got a lot of metal... It, you can tell it's a, his kind of game because there's a lot of cinematic cutscenes and stuff. So there's, there's gameplay cutscene, gameplay cutscene, gameplay cutscene. Um, and it's very story based. Do you know what I mean? It's mm. heavily into its story and lore about what's going on and why. So it's um, not a game that you. I would say it's not a game you can blitz through. You've got to take your time. Well, right. with the way that you like you say you you're delivering stuff, that's just how it is. And you you didn't mention about the fact that when you do die, by the way, it is a consequence. There's a what's known as voiding out or oh. void out, which is when death and life meet together and it's like antimatter and matter, it just <clears throat> blows up yeah. the entire area. So when you respawn, you respawn in the crater that you left. I actually haven't died by, by blowing properly. Up. Interesting. Um, but yeah, the no, void I mean, out. Hard, hard reset. I mean, like you, um, you know, early on your character's not going to die, so you can just. Yeah, it's. Um, but yeah, it's yeah. The void outs leave massive craters and lots of uh, particles are left, like radiation particle kind of deals. That attract the monsters. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I know a lot I... of history's been lost. Sorry, Ryan, where's your uh, Desert Bus 2021 or 2020? Um, 2020 is in the wash. 2021 isn't out yet. Well, you should have it already. 
I, but, uh, oh yeah, let me let me just get in contact with Loading Ready Run because I know them all by name and they all know me. No, they don't. I'm just a guy. They should know you by name. You have oh, like they know me. How by many of their shirts again. do you have? Five. Uh, yes. Exactly. They mm -hmm. should know you. You're you're a regular now. You should be one of them. One of us. One of us. I don't think that'll work. Sorry, Dad. You but can yeah. continue. But yeah, that's... um, where little was is completely different. It's like a Game Boy Color game. <laughs> So I've gone from surreal bottle babies and death to effectively a Pokemon game. Sounds Mixed. about right. Like, so it's been kind of a really surreal week on that front. <laughs> between the, if you go between the two games, it's you go, oh, this is beautiful scenery, beautiful music, and then it's just calming, like, instead of building a little village up. Yeah. All right. There well, then. I guess now Ryan? it's uh, Mr. Ryan's time. Oh, yep, me? That's what, yes, you. Could it okay. be? Uh, 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 go. No. Um, so, I've been playing over the past couple of weeks a game that's been out on the Switch for a while but is now on PC called Octopath Traveler. Okay. Turn-based RPG where it was uh, a Square Enix creative decision of and I was not funny <laughs> god damn it Steph um, yeah where, where they, it's a game where they decide <laughs> it's a game where Square Enix decided we didn't just want one protagonist how mm. about eight of them and how about they all have their own stories okay so oh, yeah. The, so the game starts with you choosing one of eight heroes, and they uh, have a they have a job, like merchant or dancer or priest, warrior, thief, and three others. Um, and they have a path action, so the merchant can go to NPCs and just buy stuff off them. So, like, every NPC, or most NPCs, have items that you can buy off them. Um, a warrior can... Or the warrior can challenge NPCs to fights, to just test strength. The dancer can um, sort of charm NPCs into becoming a temporary party member. Um, but they all have their own fleshed-out story at the same time. Hmm. So I started off with a merchant, and she's just, you know, ready to take over a, a mum and dad's merchantile shop. And then a trader comes in on a boat, and she gets, like, wowed and saves the village from a bunch of bandits. And he gives her a book about an adventurer that, that you know, that's wanting to find some relics that are really expensive. Steph, stop. Um... You won't. And then, and then, you know, she travels the world, and then she met a warrior who, his story was, Jesus Christ, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So you find the warrior whose story is he's just a cell sword and a mercenary now because his kingdom got destroyed by his best friend, who killed the king. And then I got met them together, and after solving his woes, we then went and found a third party member who was a dancer who was royalty, but um, had her family killed by some shadowy organisation, and she spent her time paying off her debt to a seedy brothel. Um, and, you, and you finish her story by the fact that she kills her master um, by slicing his throat, and they make a whole point of that, even though they're little tiny sprite people. You can clearly see by the fully voiced acting when a guy goes, yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah. Um, I think you need to write irk. That's U R K. That's usually the way of uh, like yeah. deaf sounds. It's just mm, yes, no. no, and then no. It was yes, yeah. no first. Uh, but yeah, and it's turn turn based battles, um, where sort of enemies have vulnerabilities like 
you know, most games, but they're all hidden. But once you find out what the weakness of an enemy is, you can then use it in, you know, in further combats. And they have weapons, weaknesses, and elemental weaknesses. And you also got this little thing called burst points, which means that on a on a character's turn, you can increase the damage of the next attack, and you gain it sort of over time as the battle goes on. And you can do that with your spells as well as your normal attacks. And it ends up being quite shiny and clusterfucky. For a turn-based game, you play a lot of shiny but, games, but it's really enjoyable. I actually like it. I've not even got all eight characters yet because I'm still just trying to travel the map to find them all. But um, well, that's your room that's not looking good down there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's me done. Right, maybe this one can actually speak. Off to the silent but deadly. Now, what just, what just I have missing. played this week. These are the one step Terry punch Eddie. cards. Terry, tell them. I'm not telling them nothing. I know what you played, but you have to say it. <laughs> uh, you have to hold it a little this. higher. And Terry is just bad at this, so I am going to have to. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Unmute. <laughs> you are just bad. <laughs> I didn't even have to. 20, 26 minutes in and, uh, and Steph speaks. Yay! Terry's just bad. Um, I am amazing. I, I thought my room was a mess beforehand, and now I look at it and I can't see no floor. Yeah, for those you know, paper. this is entirely your fault, and it was entertaining. A lot of paper of... Uh, and and a lot of marks on my table. <laughs> for, for those of you in the audio, for those of you in the audio, he's been throwing all the papers that he's been holding up with messages over his right shoulder, or what appears to be his right shoulder. Oh yeah. So, um, Terry does know what I played. He is just really bad at this because everything I played, I played with Terry yesterday. Minecraft. <laughs> You didn't play anything while I was gone? Nothing different. And plus, Let's I've shown well. you everything I've done. I now have 20-odd villagers ready to be done. That's true. You did spend oh, a lot of time yeah. doing that. He has um, a village pillaging. Oh. Yeah, I, he has a little trading I, 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 I have Ryan, the um, killer pike, in the ocean. Mm. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, a really, it's a really mean fish that swims in his ocean that he has walled off so it can just eat fish. You did you have execute, a whale in that one. Of the fish. Yeah, there was a whale in there. I also feed you fish every now and then. Do you like fish, Ryan? Oh, namely, n- namely the ones um, I named Carl Terra. If they're in fish finger form or fish cake form. Or no, these are flipper raw. dipper form. These are raw. No. This they're is a cod, raw. salmon, um, trout. Nope. Um, uh, I don't know what else they have in the game at the minute. What about spiky Chocolate fish? Yeah. Puffer fish. fish? Is that what they call <laughs> puffy fish? He he also eats clownfish. Nemo. Whoa. All together now. Oh, Dory. Nemo. Wait. And what else? Eats them. What else have you played? You played some TFT um, with us. I played some TFT with you yesterday. I've still not completed my seeding, yeah. but. I I I only plan on doing that when I'm with you because he plays I the don't hyper play mode. ranked. Hyper mode is so much better. He likes hyper, hyper roll is best roll. I it's don't because like I have a brain. It's because I have a brain and it's it's good. I was exhausted yesterday. I didn't have the the, the mental capacity to play hyper. Like, so what was your excuse last week? Shh. I never you have played golf capacity. with your friends. Yeah. Exactly. Pl- that in, took all of my it. mental capacity. You have mental capacity? A little bit. No, not anymore. Mm. I'd like to point to a sign that I did earlier, but I don't know where it is underneath all that. <laughs> is, it, is it... The sleeping sign? Uh, no. He's try- he's, oh. he's, he found it. I found it. Ryan lies. Ryan always, always. lies. Who? Me? What a liar. No. Did you name Ryan? No. All right. See what I mean? Well, is that everything that we've played? I believe it is. Does that mean we yeah. must transition to the we video? Can move to 
we can discuss the main event now. I say main event. It's an eight-minute video plus whatever we talk about beforehand and reactions to afterward. Um, uh, I got six yeah. according to what I written earlier. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I ignored that because there wasn't even six. So, yeah. So was... the secret the secret project, which we've discussed as being Seven. the video game challenge. So, yeah, we've explained, like, sort of quickly, and it's going to get explained in the video as well, you know, what, what's happening. That's good, because no one's explained to me what's going on. <laughs> I part rude. of it. You were, you were told. But, what's um, that? Yes, well, what did you think you were doing? I just go with whatever you say. <laughs> yeah, that, that that was also true. But, um, Stefan, yeah, jump so off the bridge. I got... What I can gather yeah. is... Only if you hold my hand. Okay, we're going together. So, yeah, so the, there's no guessing, but five of yous were put together in a competition to determine who was able to get some uh, cutscenes within a limited amount of time. Like I say, I'll explain fully in the video. But without giving away your results, how did you feel you did? I think I everyone got roughly about the same. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, say... Okay. I think everybody did just a little bit better than me because I, I'm pretty rusty with a lot of the games. I'm very um, focused on I put on you games. and Darius in polling, not, and it's probably between me, Stefan, or Duncan. I'm <sighs> putting it between. Everyone got about two to four. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'd say about two to four as well. Yeah. Okay, so Terry has the I'm big the video, and I'm, I'm going to apologize uh, now. There are a couple of audio quality issues. One, sometimes I'm too loud. How dare you? Mess. That was just that was just a thing. And uh, then um, two, as I explained to Terry before the podcast, um, trying to run all the videos and use the graphics card to do the noise reduction on my mic led to my mic popping a little bit. Apologies, not much more that could be done about it. The video content's there, and all the reactions are fine. So, uh, yeah. To everybody on Discord, if you're not following or watching my live stream, that's the only way you're going to see the video. So, view my live stream on Discord, and I will then maximize mm -hmm. the video for the stream. And the I'm watching the stream. I'm I'm good. The video will start in about two seconds. All right, Terry. I'm all recording right, now. How are you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All good. All right, Steph. Okay. Mine's how are so you? Ugly. I'm good. All right, I'm Dick. talking. Mm-hmm. Hello. So this is your appraisal. No, um, <clears throat> right, I'll try this. <laughs> so you're right, Darius. Hello, Duncan. Hello, Ryan. Please don't oh. hurt me. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, you will not be hurt. Uh, so I might as well yeah, let little, you. Know. Uh... I'll let you know what the secret project is. I'm doing a video game challenge, a video to for you to watch and. So as well as video, and everything has a code. Every video game challenge has a code name, and this one is code name Cutscene Countdown. Cutscene Countdown. You look really like. What am I doing here? I, I, I just don't know what to expect from this. You and Doggo. I have my, I have my emotional support animal over here in the corner. Can't see ah. it. So I have a list of video game cutscenes or cutscenes that are well known in the video games that they are and all you have to do is guess what they are there is a 20 second clock and five cutscenes all you have to do is name them the moment you know it you just say it and i'll stop the clock you get it you get a point okay. and then you get to decide whether to guess the next cutscene with the time you have remaining if i fail to get the next one i lose all of it yes and there is a prize for success and punishment for failure, as all video game challenges go. So the idea behind this is whoever has the most points in, with the most amount of time remaining, just to break tiebreakers, will win the challenge. And they, under the terms of prize for success, punishment for failure, will get a gift designed by the losers. Oh, um... Here's your tester. Final Fantasy VII. Perfect. I think I got it. Okay, just say it. Zelda. Nope. But I don't know which one. 
Is it's, not not? it's not Zelda. Final Fantasy. Which one? Final Fantasy Seven. There you go. It's by the same artist as Zelda. Um. No. No. I don't know. I I, I didn't play any of them until what ten? Uh, Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, Nine. Okay. One of them. So th this is early on. This would be like one or two. Eh, close. Close. It's, it's seven. Three? Seven. It's seven? <laughs> yeah. Hell. Never played it. Uh, oh, this might be interesting then. <laughs> I, I have a very limited spectrum of games. <laughs> so if oh. I get one point, I might just stop there. <laughs> You're in play. GTA 5. Yep. Easy. I'm fast out of five. Yeah, easy. Uh, that is Grand Theft Auto Five. Yes. GTA Five. Yes. Stop. What is it? Just keep. Just tell GTA, me. GTA Five. GTA Five. Yeah, yeah. That took you three seconds, so you got seventeen left. I still don't trust you. You don't trust me. Well, you got sixteen seconds left if that helps you. C carry on. All right. So I'll you, go one more. You got. <laughs> I'll go one more. <laughs> See? How, how much time did that leave me with? You have seventeen seconds left. How long have I got left? You've got 16 seconds. Ooh, I, get, I definitely got to do at least cutscene too. I mean, come on, when you got 17 seconds left? And you've got 14 seconds left. I'm either going to... I'm either going to need all 17 seconds mm. or I'm not, right? Go, 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 go. Yeah, let's do two. You are in play. Um... 22. Final Fantasy 10? Easy. Easy. Oh, all of the Final Fantasies, um, well, which... Nope. Oh no. <laughs> just, just roll off answers. Uh, Final Fantasy 9. Nope. No, actually. Final Fantasy 10 too. Nope. Do you want to try again? Final Fantasy 10? There you go. Dynasty Warriors? It's not Dynasty Warriors. Um, um 10. Yeah. There oh, you go. One of them. It looks like it might be Final Fantasy. It is a Final oh, Fantasy. No. Just guess 10. the number. Boom. Then I do not know. Uh, oh I can... no! <laughs> uh... Oh dear, and that's that's my um, that's my. It's two. It's it's ten. It's ten. Ten. It's ten. I, I meant I meant yeah, I meant to say X two. Oh. Oh, someone else did say ten two, and I had to correct him on that as well. But ah, oh, right. Darius. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew it's Final Fantasy. I knew it's one of the of the. Dude, which you have to play the weird football game. Maybe you can give me a... like a 240p blurry, like JPEG, and I'd, I'd of, of Yuna's left and eye, and you tell me it's Final Fantasy X. <laughs> Probably. That's two down. You got nine seconds left. Yeah, carry on. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Since it took me about three quarters of a second to get, what does what does that leave me? So with? you're at fourteen seconds. I'm gonna just reduce it a little bit more. We'll put it down to ten seconds. You've got three cutscenes left. Theoretically, it's possible. Five cutscenes, four seconds apiece. Easy, easy enough. So um, that's two. That's two. Do you know? Do you want to know how long you got left? I'm assuming five seconds. Two. I feel like. I feel like I gotta keep going until I have less than ten seconds left, because again, it's that it's uh, that'd be at that point where it's like, I need to give myself at least ten seconds to be like, okay. I think I'm gonna call it there. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's do one more. Let's let's give another one. You're in play. Uh oh. Mass Effect. Which one? Oh crap. Oh, um, Mass Effect. Um, Which one? Two? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh. He's just lost all his points. I have never played them. Mass Effect 2? Yes. Uh, wait. Is this Dead Space? No! Ooh, uh. Time. Oh, fuck. Now that I'm off the clock and I've lost. Can I put in another thought? Yeah, go is for it. Is this from the Call of Duty franchise? It's not. So yeah, the I thought maybe because I remember from the Call of, Call of, one of the one of the later Call of Duty games they had like the one the one with guns in space that shouldn't work. 
Mm. And that people so. made big memes about that. So, so I was like, I wasn't quite sure. And it's like so. I knew it because I again, it's like I'm either gonna get it or I don't. Yeah. And that was the that was the don't. So I'm gonna rewind the cutscene back here. So you see this little N7 logo that's on the breastplate. Okay. Would Mass Effect spring to mind? I have not played a single Mass Effect game. Oh. I, have not. I know I know next to nothing about Mass Effect. Uh, uh, that is, is like that is like that is a franchise that might be one of the most popular franchises I know nothing about Mass Effect. Uh, uh, damn. Like that up it's up there with like Gears of War. Oh, I should have played like, a Gears of War cutscene now that I mention it. I'm stopping here. <laughs> yeah. Probably a good idea, because you know how many seconds you got left. Like one. Three. Yeah, definitely stuff there. So, you've got three. Do you want to know how long you've got left? Okay. Do you want to know? Yeah, we'll go. One I'll second. Go nope. <laughs> okay, fair you, enough. You, I had no idea what that was, and then I saw N7. Yeah, I was I just was... waiting. <gasps> <laughs> I mean, I won. It does mean you it won. It does mean you uh, won. God, I win. By two seconds. Yeah, by two seconds. So, um, I know there was a little bit of a, a thing that come up and might I, have been I a little bit of a confusion. I expected Duncan to do more. Mm. I, the way Duncan was going, I thought he would have got another couple. But yeah, if it wasn't going to be that one... killed him! <laughs> well, see, I'm very <laughs> lucky but if that... The the second cutscene, Final Fantasy X, held me off so long because I probably would have done the same thing Duncan did if I had enough time. But mm. I have never played Mass Effect. I've never played Final Fantasy. So I was screwed <laughs> off the hop. The only one I was able to get was Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, and I got pure really luck out of G uh, Final Fantasy X. Like, mm. That was just the first number that popped in my head of one of the Final Fantasy games. Literally, I had no idea. I've never played See, any of them. In the Final Fantasy one, I knew the character. I couldn't remember if it was 9, 10, or 10, 2. Mm. So I just started See, at 9 and went my way up. Yeah, see, I discussed this with D because you might have saw that I dropped D's timer just by a couple of seconds. That was due to the fault of the host stopping the timer on D saying 10, 2. Which instead of 10. Yeah, I, I heard 10. 10 and thought, right, stop the clock. And then sort of realise, like, hold on, 10-2, no, no, no. Um, but yeah, the way that you can tell the difference for those who've played the Final Fantasy X games is whatever Yuna's wearing determines which of the two games it is. Because if she's wearing that long summoner's dress, it's 10. If she's wearing, like, a bounty hunter outfit, which is, like, a skirt and, like, a waistcoat or whatever, musician. it's 10 yeah, I thought it was a Mr. Musician capsule. It was a music it's, capsule. Yeah, it's like, yeah like dress fears and all that business but yeah that's that's what come up so that's the first part of the video game challenge done <clears throat> so as you know now steph won so he'd he get the prize so i'm the winner of everything this year yeah i'm one of those you didn't want to win hell yeah i didn't want to win this one neither to be honest oh well that's you a shame a pretty good job, I mean, then. yeah and yeah. it's the n7 that tips me in into I haven't played Mass Effect. I was like, I saw the N7. I went, Shepard, Mass Effect. You see, Ryan <laughs> cut my conversation short there. As I said, I played Mass Effect. I've completed one. I completed three because I started on three. I never completed two, and I don't remember that scene. So I just mm. went on to two. Yeah, the, like I say, there were I, bits of the conversation. I know that we like we chatted on a little bit, and I just wanted to sort of. Keep I, it. I have another question. I, yeah. I, I'm assuming everyone else asked to see the others, or is it just me? Um, no, I did. Terry was the only one who didn't see the other two. Bad Terry. Everyone else did. It started because you asked to see the other two, and then I did it with the rest <laughs> because of the, sort of the order of what. Ste I... Stefan started a trend. I, yeah, I won. Yeah. I had no idea what any of the other videos were after uh, Final Fantasy so, X. I think. Kind of like, I think after that, I don't think I got any of them right after. Yeah, they they would have took everyone out at that point. I, I think, like I said, like, 
I wouldn't have got the Mass Effect. No way in hell. Yeah, so the, so there would have been, like, the a, there was a, a cutscene from Metal Gear Solid 4, the opening cutscene, that's, like, a lot of beige and sand and... That and, took me out. Solid I snake got, just growling I got some metal snake. always changing. I, I got the the Metal Gear, I just couldn't figure out which one. Yeah, so again, it would have been the number that took you out. And the, the last cutscene was from Death Stranding. Um, the creepiest cutscene of the camera going down it. Norman Reedus's mouth, going down his throat, and then the baby and in his stomach was the baby. You know, we were telling you about the bottle baby. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. I might say, I'll, I'll send you the clip. Like, and I'm you'll so happy I never watched this. And then yeah, the baby I'm like really happy I haven't seen these. And then the, the baby cues, and then it comes back. Yeah, it's just it's just like has its thumb in its mouth. It just goes. And then you go down the baby's mouth, and then you travel through a little bit more, and then you see Mad Mickelson's face. You come out of his Yeah. Room. We told you. We told you, <laughs> Terry. Peak Kojima. So, um, yeah, so, Steph. So at some point, you came out of the baby's bum to come out of his bum to <laughs> someone else. <laughs> oh, you are pretty close in terms of storyline. I don't want to say it to, like, to D, but mm. things are weird. You're going to poop yeah, out of baby? <laughs> No, 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 no. But there's like a, there is an attachment between you know, you know, Sam and the baby get, that is. That, that, babies don't come out of that hole for one. Yeah, they don't the come out of the pooper. Uh, Terry's like, what? Terry, Terry's <laughs> like, what is going on? Right. So anyway, so yeah, to get it, prize for success, punishment That's for failure. Terry that is the key. Of, yeah, okay. that is the key. Like, like the key Wait. theme of every video game challenge. So, I've won something that them a lot have to do. We, we, have have to design your, it for we have to design your uh, prize. Prize between yes. us. Okay. I'm I'm looking at mainly due to the fact that we didn't get you anything for Christmas. Um. Wait, who didn't get me for what for Christmas? We, well, certainly I. And, and, I don't even know. And, and Martin, we were we were looking to get you something for for Christmas, and there's. Uh, a, a real, real big stock issue that keeps coming up and annoying us about. But I'll, I'll get you something. I'll get you like a a shirt with the logo on it, designed by everyone else. Oh, okay. But I'll I'll send you I'll send everyone a video with um with instructions, and I then that'll get back it. to me, Can and we'll I get mail it you and... poop to rub into it. You cannot mail me poop. I want to mop it. You want to mop him? Well, I say, well I've you? already told you if I ever have that exposable income, I am getting that muppet of me. <laughs> oh, a am I muppet? Are you a no, Terry, I literally I'm know a, muppet, a website a which I send them a photo of me and they will make a, a muppet, muppet version out yeah, you, of it. You and showed send us that link. Me. I so want it. I don't care. <laughs> I'll, I'll even ask for because you can get a full that like, size mu- like Muppet, like proper Muppet, like Kermit the Frog type oh, thing. God, I, oh you god! Get like hand puppets. I would get like you get the full puppeteered one with the. I would get everything. I'd have the hand puppet. I'd have the freaking me puppet. I, I'll have the vanquilla. I'll have a puppet that I have to stick my hand up its butt. <laughs> Ventura <laughs> Yeah, I don't care. I, what, I mini, want a uh, Oh, can't have me out one if you have to. Mini Jeff. Oh, God, mini I, Jeff. I love the fact the mic will pick up me rustling stuff, but I burped within that thing, and my mic didn't pick it up. It just yeah. went yeah, um, But I make a bit of a rustle. Yeah. Oh, now it doesn't do it. It did. <laughs> but no, well, uh, that was a wit. That's got to be one of the weirdest shots on the things. P not being controlled. No. Jeff controlling peanuts. Who's controlling little Jeff? Oh, simultaneously. It's like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> uh, so, are we still doing news, or was that the end of it? I don't I think know. News. This one was a replacement for for news. It would give us I some really time, because think... otherwise, other than like news. MSI and there wasn't a lot Apple. going on really. Anyways, uh, and Apple, Apple and Epic are still in a lawsuit. Still at it. Yeah, that's it. That's your news all. update. Uh, oh, there was um, there was actually a highlight that um, during the Apple versus Epic case, someone asked the lawyer for 
one of the two parties. Um, what's the name of this website here? Because they were going through a it was like gaming journalist website, and one of the guys explained Kotaku, to which the judge responded, "What is a Kotaku?" <laughs> I'd also like to point out um, Apple is still trying to drag in Steam. Oh god! I believe they're having their own cart, ca- their own civil cart. So in other words, nothing really that big, just between them and the judge to tell the, to get them to come into it. <laughs> what? Why is this case anyway? I actually don't know. Basically, this is not their kind, Epic their, their bypassing percentage. Google's uh, Apple's payment system. Oh, that thing again. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, oh, it's yeah, not no, that it's still thing. Ongoing. It, it's, still. it's the same thing. I, I just yeah. love the fact Google basically went, "Yeah, you're gone back." Did Google yeah, ever Epic, bring them back? I don't think so. <laughs> I can find out. But um, Epic sort of tried to bribe their can customers into Fortnite giving them phone? like free V bucks if you defend against the evil Apple. And evil Google machines, and everyone went, just give us your free shit, please. Which that actually came up. They spent a hundred and what did you say? How much did they spend on Borderlands alone? No for results the for Fortnite. Oh, um, oh, well, well yeah, Google's just got rid of them and said bye. Yeah, um, was one... that 157 million, was it? For... Yeah, something like that. And they still haven't made that back properly, from what I've heard. Yeah, well, I mean that's the that was the epic plan, wasn't it? Just lost lead. It's like we'll just spend all this money up front. From what I know, the the this record they're saying they've made it back, but people have worked out for how much they sell they sold the game for and how much they said they get a cut of the game. People have worked out they didn't make technically make it back, but they're saying they did. Mm. Unless all... they had some sort of deal where. That we sell this many copies without having to pay you anything, basically. Mm. Or that's the only way. Or just by stealing some of the market, they made the money back. Yeah. Like getting Man, people this would to buy really other games and stuff like that. It's not really done much, have they? Because well, I, I think I went on it for that, and then after this, I've just got their free games and never went back. Yeah. <laughs> I think I only get free games off them too. I've been a lot of the time. I've been forgetting to get the free game. Yeah, uh, but so. I still love the fact. A lot of people kicked off with the free GTA. Oh yeah, that one went crazy. And it's not just because the site went down because of it, it's because the um, uh, added bonus of having it for free was the free the free on, in la- on game, well, online credits or cash. Which um, yeah, because it was get the criminal enterprise player, edition, wasn't it? Which you could only get if you were a brand new player. So if you already had an account and you logged into that account and then linked your account to it, it already registered you as a player and you never got it. Well, oh. there's a, here's a PSA for you. It's your own damn fault. Yeah, you tried to cheat the system, pretty much. Well, some people said they did. A lot of people said they didn't. So it's like, hmm, <laughs> I'm going to go with the majority that say they didn't. <laughs> yeah. And assume but, uh, that you 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 either got money somewhere else and didn't realize it, or you just gone Twitch Prime and didn't realize they gave you that same amount. <laughs> yeah, the the only the only sort of other news was uh, uh, what's it called? Well, as you can see in the background, the League of Legends mid season invitationals are happening. Um, a couple of us have been watching at least some of the matches, a non zero amount of matches, um, and. Yesterday, the first ever team from Oceana qualified for do, the second do you know round something? of the group. I had a piece of paper ready for the end of that. And oh, yeah. I, 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 this is what it was. I <laughs> got it the wrong way round. <laughs> Basically, um, yeah. you, you said whoever was at the thing was going to go, yeah, it's the wrong way round. And it's like, yeah, I won. I can't be bothered. Yeah, well, yeah, Pentanet GG the team is. The team, the happy-go-lucky team, whose theme song for entering the competition was We Going Home. Have they gone they were just they, No, they haven't. They've qualified for the Rumble stage. I have to admit, I love that, I love that team. That team reminds me so they much gotta go into of... The Rumble. To, that, te- that team is up there with me, with... Um... What do you call it? The one who I like from um, our league. Um, oh, and who are they? Oh, no, a Mad Lion. 
No, from our no, league. No. Yeah, mad, mad Lions are from our league. No, I don't mean the ones who are in it from our league. Oh, right. Vitality. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Vitality. Uh, remind yeah, me of Vitality, because t- Vitality yeah. are happy just to be there. <laughs> yeah, happy to be here. But no, that was that just was just the they thing, can end the game unlike them. Yeah, I mean the the Pentanet's coach for the last day of action got himself a blue suit, some like aviator style sunglasses, and just started pointing at the cameras just every opportunity he got because they honestly thought no, he was he was like the gunshot was like hey. yeah, just doing that all the time because hey. they honestly thought they were going home. I mean their mid lane, not their mid lane, it's their jungler, isn't it? Habu. Um, they, everyone across the whole podcast, up the whole podcast, the tournament had been saying this guy is a highlighter. He's got Billy Eilish green hair. But um, wait, is that the yeah, team no, of the child, the child that we pointed out? Oh yeah, the 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 tiny human, the, the midget. Yeah, she's their social media coordinator. I'm I'm assuming she, they're just tall compared to her. She um, must be something like five foot nothing. So, I think she's like Ryan used to bed. And then I really. I really apologize. Uh, I think she's uh, like, you know, like Australian Vietnamese uh, or something like that. So she's she's small. Right, she's small, but they're also tall. What? You used a bad word. What bad no, word did I use? It starts with an M. It starts with a what? M. M? For small people. <laughs> I didn't say it. Yes, you did. You I did. said she was small. No, you didn't. I don't know. I did not say that word, and I'm not going to say it for your... <laughs> you better check the video. You said it. We might actually want to cut it out. Been me. Maybe. But it, I'm pretty been, sure... yeah, it, was, it was Steph. We it might actually want to cut it out of the uh, on demand. No, we can check clip replay if you really want. No, I'm, I've not got the time for that. <laughs> but I, I didn't say it, and I it. rest my case. Okay. I think they did, but anyways... Um, um, anyway, we should probably look at wrapping this up then, shouldn't we? Yeah, we've gone over our, mm. our normal times, so. Yeah, well, we're, we're closer to our, like, pre live stream time. Yep. Oh. So. What do we want? Who wants yeah, to say okay. the. I'll let Ryan say the goodbyes this time. I always say the goodbyes. Okay. Okay. I do, well, thank you for watching and listening to uh, Podcast 145 on the Mighty Immaterial Gamers Network that is hopefully mighty uh, and is at, at, at the very minimum a network. From and Brazil. You, yeah, yes, live from Brazil. Uh, so if you enjoyed what you've watched and what you've listened to, please follow us on Twitch. And uh, give us a nice thumbs up and a, and a chat, and you'll be able to keep an eye on the other streams that will happen through the week. Um, if you're listening to this on or watching this on YouTube, give us a like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Please tell us how we're not Pentanet GG, so therefore we're nowhere near as popular. Um, or you could be listening to this on wherever your podcasts are served, be it Amazon, uh, Spotify, um Apple Podcasts, like I said, that one episode of iHeartRadio, you know, um, and that never all our social episode. media links, yeah, are, are all the way through that as well. So, um, I'd like to put a guarantee out. I guarantee, guarantee. if you touch your Ryan's face and stick it on your rumba, you'll have an excellent day. That would be an interesting oh. rumba picture. Wait, on the, it goes on the top, right? No, at the bottom. It don't matter where oh. it goes as long as it's on the rumba. If it's on the top, you they can see want it. they can stick a, if, if they want they can stick a stick behind it so it looks like you're you're the rumba and you're going forward. Always moving, ever hoovering. <laughs> Best thing is you know you picture him like that. Yeah. All so right, everybody. All right. So, Terry's Terry's going to say bye from every one of us. I'll say bye. Everybody else can wave. And, and waiting for Stefan. Stefan doesn't want to wave. So goodbye, everybody. Okay. 